Welcome back to Noble Warrior Life. My name is CK Lin. If you are a high performer looking for practical advice to empower you to go to the next level, you came to the right place. Today, I want to talk to you briefly about the concept of inside out versus outside in. Inside out versus outside in approaches when it comes to solving problems. Solving problems. So, let me give you a、uh, example. As an entrepreneur, one of the things that we always talk about is the idea of defining, clarifying, what is our ideal customer archetype, right? What is our ideal customer archetype? So, if you take a outside-in approach, which is what most people go about doing this, they'll look at market research, they'll look at you know our core competencies. They'll look at what do you have access to,、um, you know who who can you have most conversations with, what kind of、um, people can you target based on the advertising platforms, so on, so on, so on, right? So what that means is it's based on external data, external motivators from the external point of view. Then you define and refine. What is the type of、uh, customers that you want to serve? Right, very much an outside-in approach. The inside-out approach is asking yourself, who is it that you want to serve? Who is it that you want to surround yourself with? It ultimately comes down to who it is it that you love and enjoy serving, and and why that is important for you as an entrepreneur. An inside-out approach. So, so since I'm an engineer, I looked at it through、uh, systems and processes. What is the function of a business? So, for me, a function of a business not just a monetary function, right? A transactional exchange. Here's a service I provide, and you pay me with dollar amounts. But I also care a lot about the satisfaction that I derive from serving this particular client. So, reflecting upon All the type of people that I've served in the past. There are people that I really enjoy serving. There are people that I don't particularly enjoy serving. There are people that are a nightmare to serve. And having looked at all of these things, for me, the inside-out approach is a much more reliable method to create the kind of lifestyle, the kind of business that ultimately will fulfill me. There are other entrepreneurs who don't really care about. Who their customers, or what kind of products they get in, they're more opportunistic. As long as it's going to、um, create revenue, create profit, they'll do it. But for me, I'm the type of person that I like to surround myself with people that I actually enjoy working with. Okay. So this video is not about finding one's ideal archetypes. I can have a series of this more later on. But this is to illustrate a approach to any kind of problem that you may have, an inside-out approach versus an outside-in approach. Obviously, the ideal case scenario is to find the overlap between the inside-out approach, right? What is it that you want as a creator, as an entrepreneur, as a problem solver, as well as an outside-in approach, verified by market data, core competencies. And, and all of these, you know, extrinsically driven approaches to life, right? So you have both the inside out and the outside in. But the place that I start from is inside out first. Then I'll look for、um, external validations, external data as a way to augment or to refine my approaches to、uh, solution exploration. So I hope this is useful for you, because I just haven't come across people talking about problem solving from the inside out approach so much. So I want to bring this to your attention. Okay. okay. Now, if you found value in this video, go ahead and subscribe to this channel, so that way you can continue to get more videos to empower you to live a more successful and fulfilling life and take you to the next level of performance. Now, if you can, go out and pay forward to help another person.
Go ahead and do that now. I'll see you on the other side.